Jerry Merifkin is here. He is president of the Foundation on Economic Trends. His latest book is called The Third Industrial Revolution. It looks at the convergence of Internet technology and energy. I am pleased to have him on this program. Welcome. Nice to be here. Tell me what the Third Industrial Revolution is. Well, it's based on uh, a premise on how the great economic revolutions emerge in history. And that is uh, the great economic shifts really occur when two things come together. When we create new energy regimes mm -hmm. and then create new communication revolutions to manage the new energy regimes. So when communication and energy revolutions come together, they really do change the, the way we organize society, very fundamental ways. For example, the 19th century, we had print technology. It right. became really cheap with steam power. We put in public schools and we created a very literate workforce with the media skills to organize coal and a rail infrastructure. We, we couldn't have done it with an Ill illiterate workforce. And the 20th century centralized electricity, especially the telephone, and later radio and television became the communication vehicles to manage the complexities of an auto oil culture in a suburban society, in a mass consumer society. Uh, now, the, obviously, that revolution, the second industrial revolution, is on life support. You know, these fossil fuel energies are getting expensive. The technologies are old. The infrastructure is dying. But we are now on the cusp of this third industrial revolution, which could rejuvenate the global economy. We had a powerful communication revolution in the last 20 years, the Internet. Mm. And what's interesting about the Internet is it's organized so it's distributed and collaborative. It's, it scales laterally, so two billion people can now send their own video, audio, and text to either, each other with far more lateral power than the centralized telecommunication networks of the 20th century. What's happened in the last two years, which is really interesting, is this internet communication technology is just now merging with a new energy regime, distributed energy. And when they come together, we create an infrastructure for a completely new economic paradigm.